So there's this word, you might have heard it, might have used it yourself, but maybe you're not even really sure what it means. Maybe someone's tried to explain it to you and you didn't know what the hell they were talking about. It's too abstract. Or maybe you do know what it means and a bunch of your friends don't know what it means and that's just really annoying to you. The word is phenomenology and it's something I talk about a lot, something I tweet about a lot, something I've written about. And uh, it's easy to get caught up in philosophical, psychological language when you're talking about something like phenomenology, which is another word for mental experience. And so I wanted to use this video to explain that in a more directed way. Specifically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand on a piece of paper and pay attention to my experience. And I'm going to draw next to my hand a sort of visual representation of what I'm experiencing and try to attend to the difference between what I expect to be noticing and what I'm actually noticing, right? So it'll be a 10 minute meditation. Feel free to speed up the video a little bit if you just wanna watch it, but it's also something where you could follow along and do the activity or something like the activity yourself if you want to. So let's jump into it. <laughs> So this is already my second attempt here because um, I got to remember to draw my hand big enough. Um, so here's my hand. Hello. And I'm basically going to leave it resting on the desk for the whole period of the meditation, you could say. <clears throat> I've got a timer set for 10 minutes. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw what I feel. Or I'm going to draw some kind of representation of what I feel. So the first thing I'm actually going to do before that is draw my hand. So this is not what I feel, but this is what I see. And this is just to give something like a visual indicator of where things are happening when I describe the feelings involved. And um, my drawing could be better, but it is what it is. That's my thumb, something like that. And we got some fingers. Boop, boop. And that's going to have to be good enough, finger pad. So this is just for reference. And yeah, that seems like a reasonable size. So the goal here is just going to be to keep noting things. And I'm, I've tried to articulate this process a lot of times, but, um, you know, it comes out differently every time. So the goal here is going to be to keep noticing things and keep improving my descriptions of what I notice. So the first thing is like warmth. And this is going to get a little messy, but like, let's draw some warmth. Interestingly, um, and this is already going to be challenging because it's 2D, but interestingly, I only feel warmth. Like, I don't really feel warmth here, weirdly enough. I feel it there. I feel a lot of it in my, um, in the inside of my hand, something like that. It's a little bit see-through. Um, I don't feel it here. That's interesting to me. Um, a lot on like the back side is all warmth on the bottom. It's like the palm has this like warmth energy to it. Uh, yeah. So what else do I feel? Pressure, pressure between fingers. Let's just like represent that like, like this. And um, so let's iterate on that. I describe pressure. I put generally where it is, but weirdly it kind of feels like a, like it has two sides to it. Um, Noticing a bit of pressure here on the underside of my hand, like pushing against the table. The awareness that my, um, what is it, the radius or something, that my bones are pressing and kind of there's a little bit of shear on the skin or whatever against the table. Nothing serious, right? But it's there, so I'm noting it. And that's interesting. Felt a little bit of a pulse go through my finger. It's like the finger wanted to do this. It was just like pulse, you know. I don't know, one. There's one of those. I'm watching it. Yeah, the pulses are continuing. Um, also here, so if this is a the kind of corner of my thumb bone or whatever, it pulsed a little bit like that. Yeah, I don't you can even see those twitches, right? It's like boop, boop. It's like it has multiple directions. Now, noticing that I'm going a little bit quickly, I'm going to slow down just to feel it. Uh, okay, this is where there's a wetness feeling, though I think I'm not even sweating. Um, but it's like the whole thing has this wetness, or at least I'm interpreting 
that. It, it's not covering my lower fingers here. More twitches. This one was in my index finger. And yeah, there's pressure. So another, it's not quite like a twitch, so I don't know, I'll try to draw it with a different type of arrow. But there's like a push that's constant between my um, you know, sort of with the grip, noticing something going down, you know, if this is like the actual arm or whatever, something going down, yeah, I made that skinnier, something going down the wrist, even further in that direction, you know, there's some kind of sparkle. Taking my time with it just to listen and Noticing I'm not really breathing, so, <sighs> man. So now this is a little bit interesting. In this particular case, I feel like the energy going from the hand down the wrist is guiding me to attend to my chest. So let's just put a little thing here, like my uh, sternum. It's like there's something, I don't know why, I just want to draw it like this on my sternum. So that's kind of out of view, um, but it's almost like the energy, it's particularly like there's energy concentrated on like my knuckles and there's energy concentrated in this section and it's kind of not, I can't tell if it's pulsing. It, it is a little bit like pulsing. It's like there's waves and they go down, they go up the wrist and sort of towards the, this sort of towards my right shoulder. Um, and my whole body wants to twist. So maybe one day I'll do one of these where I actually show my whole body and all the twisting and weird shit it does. But like right now I'm finding my body kind of wants to move. And this is a common phenomenon. So when you, um, I've done honestly countless, no question over a thousand, possibly over 10,000. I have no idea. I'd have to guesstimate that, but countless hours of this stuff. And the more I do, the more certain phenomena recur, and body motions are one of them. You see this described in a lot of traditions. I could go into that. Some people think that some of the mudras are hand uh, positions in some kind of yogic Indic tradition, and you see these body motions come out of the process. But anyway, I, I'm noticing this tendency towards body motion, so I'm just not even going to try to represent it and just be like, the body wants to move. There's some kind of rotational element. Now let's go back to the hand though. Take my time here. Yep, there's like a cycle. So it's like the whole thing, like if I really pay attention to where my hand's trying to go, it's like it's trying to do this cycle. I guess it's going like, wow, wow. And I'm kind of, people get unsure when they're doing introspection, like, am I adding this to it? You know, they wonder, am I, am I doing this or is it happening? If that makes sense. So like, am I just telling myself this thought? Am I just making this feeling or is it actually there? This is a valid question, um, but it's important to not get stuck on. So like, I'm noticing some cyclical, interesting, and now it kind of wants to go the opposite direction, right? It's like. Oh, no, wait, hold on. That's the same direction. Maybe it's more like it wants to do it more in a more triangular way. Now, there's this question of, am I adding this or is it there? Sometimes it's a little of both. But even if you're adding it, there's this interesting question of why, right? And like where that's coming from. So I like to sort of lean into and lean out of the sense of encouraging or going with what's there. There was a little twitch. It's interesting. So at this point, by the way, like my whole hand, just like there's just, there's a lot going on. It's almost like a feels kind of like a cotton swab. I'm just gonna draw the cotton swab. It's like a the sense of sense of like a mush mushy energetic mitten over my whole hand, and uh, a little sparkle on the lower finger, which 
is lost in here somewhere. I think this is the lower finger, but there's a little sparkle in there. Some desire to open my hands. When I say desire, I mean that it feels like the hand kind of does it. Is that too much of a, was that a possibly any conscious push? And a variety of the other things are continuing. So this is an evolving description. Um, and by the way, the reason to describe is not just because it's interesting, though it is interesting, but the, dis the act of description, the way I think about it is that the act of description puts this information in my mind in a different way. And part of the um, one thing that often is helpful for a lot of introspective work is helping parts of you relate to each other. There are various frameworks that talk about this. And verbalizing, or in this case, drawing this, is sending the information that's already in my hand. It's interesting to point out that information is already in my hand. But this is putting it back in the system. It's like I'm like cycling and recycling the, the phenomenological information about my hand so that I can keep getting more of it. It's like I'm kind of resonating with it. I'm describing and I'm watching and I'm trying to attain some kind of resonance. And um, one tradition that uh, uh, goes into this resonance thing a whole bunch is Gendlin's focusing. And I can link that um, in the description. Let me just check in one more time. <sighs> Remembering to breathe. And I can tell that this open the hand thing is continuing. The whole thing feels kind of like it's shimmering. The whole hand feels like it's shimmering. And the wetness is now like a greasedness. I don't know why I want to draw it like this, but like there's like black stuff on it that's like slick or something. I do think there's some actual moisture, but uh, my timer's winding down. So ordinarily, personally, I do this stuff for, for a rather... Nope, I'm going to mute this shit. I do this stuff for a long time. Not necessarily looking at my hand, but looking at something else that's coming up for me. This time the, the content was very physical, uh, very, and I really wanted to focus on the phenomenological side because I'm hoping to talk more about phenomenology and why it's important and how it fits into my overall life system and self-improvement. But I wanted to focus on that phenomenological angle, um, that very sensory angle, uh, because it's very concrete and a lot of my videos are more abstract. So anyway, let's call this here. Feel free to ask questions or share experiences as you prefer, and uh, more videos, as always, are on the way.